Welcome to this week's video and this week I'm installing the new 2040 plus chip in a V2 switch. So this is me fully working switch as you can see everything's fine I've recently reset it so it's got no information or data on it and I've also updated it to the latest firmware and this is the new chip that I'm going to use so I've ordered a couple of AliExpress and these are the new versions that have come through so there's not really a lot of difference but I will be popping this in and doing a new video so a quick comparison here so the new 2040 plus chip on the left the older pickle fly core one that I've been using previously the chips look very similar there's just a bit of a difference so we have a reset button that's being added to the new version and then I'll just plug it into my computer we plug it in, we just get a light on it, and then when you check the device manager to see if anything shows up, as you can see there, nothing's popping up, so that normally means the software is already installed. So we just need to open up, so just use my iFixit kit. And we'll get the tri-wing screwdriver out first. So we've got four screws in the corners. We'll just pop them out. And then we just need the Phillips head screw to take out the two on the bottom, two on the top, and the two on the side. Back cover comes off. Phillips head screws again on this heat shield. All these get taken out. Remove the SD card connector. And then the back cover comes off. First thing we always do is disconnect the battery. We don't cause any potential shorts then we just need to remove these three screws off the heatsink and then that comes away and then we just need to get a pin and very carefully bend these tabs out on this heat shield do as many as possible that you can get to and then just gip it underneath and then the heat shield should peel away like that and then we just need to remove all the old thermal paste so give it a wipe what you can away with a tissue and I find using a dry brush helps then we just need to prep the ribbon cable so I just get a little bit of flux and a little bit of solder onto these four pads here getting it all ready then we just position the connector into the right place so just gently make sure that the two tabs go underneath the shield in there and then line it all up making sure that all the caps on the left line up in the right position then we apply a little bit of flux and then apply the solder and then you just need to solder to either side of the chip hold on for a couple of seconds make sure it flows there's no harm in adding more flux if you need to that's what makes the solder flow nice and easy and we move over to the other side same again plenty of flux plenty of solder just go to one side move across go to the other as i said add more flux and that will make the solder go nice and secure and then we just use our tweezers to make sure that the solder joints are solid, which they are. Then we give it a good clean of isopropyl alcohol. Don't soak it because you don't want all seeping through down to the screen. That's going to damage it. Just put enough on and give it a wipe a wipe. We need to apply a bit of capped on tape to cover these caps so that nothing shorts out when we put the shield back on. We just need to get the shield back and then some people will cut this. But what I tend to do is just bend these top tabs out. Then bend the side tabs that you bent out back into place, clean it up, apply new thermal paste. Then we just get the immune end to come off this heat shield. So carefully pry it off with a plastic piece. Then we will put that back. We'll then get the mod chip. It just needs to bend back. The ribbon cable goes into this connector. It folds across, clips into place. Then we can pop the heat shield back in there. Make sure you don't trap any wires. Clip it all in. As long as you bent everything back, it'll go into place. A little bit of capped on tape underneath again to stop any shorts. Now we can test it, put the battery in, turn it on, and then the light should flash. So this is just trying to glitch the system. So the first time you do it, it can take a few seconds. This one did seem to take a lot longer than previous ones that I've done. So don't know where it's to do with the software that's installed or it's the chip itself. 
but I did fast forward a little bit. I was panicking for a few seconds, thinking I might have done something wrong. I had a check, but then there was the green light, and then we can see no SD card, so that means it's working. So turn it off, turn it back on, and then after that, it should boot up a lot quicker. Now it knows how to glitch it. So there we go. And that's it, pretty much done. We just need to put back together. So disconnect the battery. So again, not to cause any shorts. Replace with a little bit of fresh thermal paste. The three screws go back in. The heat shield needs to go on, but we need to do some cutting. So just get a pen and mark either side where it needs cutting down. Then we get some scissors, cut it down. And I get me metal wire snips to cut the edge bit, bend it back into space. Apply a little bit more of the, the thermal paste. Reconnect the battery. Put it back on. A little bit of capped on tape on either side of the chip to stop any potential shorts. Again, all the screws back in. SD card connector lined up, pushed in. The screw into that. A little bit of foam stops it moving. And we're almost there. One more piece of capped on tape to stop the chip from moving. Give it a quick dust while you've got the back off. We might as well. And that clips in. And then all we need to do is reapply all the screws. So all the Phillips head screws along the edges. And then the up the bit over. And then do tri-wing screws on the four corners. And then that's it. A little wipe down. Smart it all up. And now we've got a nice modern Nintendo Switch. We turn it on and then straight away we'll get the no SD card so we just need to install some nice software with the new 2040 plus chip. So thanks very much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.